This week, we take a look at the Forever Young Veterans, an organization that coordinates trips that takes veterans to battlegrounds where they served and to national monuments, like their most recent trip to Washington, D.C. We spoke with veterans as well as the founder and director of Forever Young Veterans to find out the inspiration for creating this organization and the effects it has on the veterans who participate. I started Forever Young Veterans in 2006, and I started it because my father became an alcoholic after the war and I had watched him suffer. And not only did he suffer, but our family suffered as well. And, you know, at the time I was just a child, I knew there was something really wrong with him. But of course, now that I'm older, I realize that it was from his trauma of the war. Well, the trips of honor, I say they kind of happened by accident <laughs> because when I started for every young veterans, I just wanted to do simple wishes for our, our veterans. I thought, well, I could get a, a medal they never received, or I could reunite them with a comrade. So that's kind of what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking about doing trips, but we uh, had a wish from a World War II veteran in Bartlett, Tennessee. And he said, my dream is to go to Washington, D.C. to see the World War II Memorial. And so that's kind of how it began. He started telling all his friends and they started calling me. And before I knew it, we had this huge trip going to Washington, D.C. So we have done over 25 trips to D.C. We spend five days there when we go because since our mission is about healing, then we want to give them time. We find that when they are with their comrades, there's a lot of healing that takes place because our veterans do not talk about it, but they will talk about it when they're together. Probably the most beautiful part of the whole trip were the two evenings we spent uh, in discussions, just quiet discussions with the group of us where people would talk about things that happened to them 50 and 60 years ago. We, among our group were, were soldiers who had fought in some of the worst battles of Vietnam. They were survivors. And for some of them, they were never really able to talk about their experiences in Vietnam. And this, this opportunity to be in a room with 25 or 28 other guys who had shared that the horrible experience of Vietnam, they were able to open up and, and talk about some of the things they had never talked about before. So it was a, it was a, a very moving, very emotional time, these two meetings. And at one point five years ago, I didn't receive much of a welcome, but uh, after being here these four days with you guys who, who were there with me, who, who suffered the same kinds of things that I did while I was there, I can tell you now that I feel like I'm home. For more information about the Forever Young Veterans Organization, you can visit their website at foreveryoungvets.com. Thank you for watching. See you next week.